All right, so we're going to be talking about how Blackbeard is able to have two Devil Fruit abilities. But before I even start, let me just say that if you have a conflicting opinion or theory or hypothesis to my own, that is completely fine. Currently, we do not know how Blackbeard did this. It is not officially revealed in the story yet and likely won't be for at least a few years. So until we do find out for real what is up with this, Let's just have fun with our theories. And, you know, we don't have to get pissed at each other because we have conflicting ones. So first off, let's just establish how Blackbeard is even able to know that this is a possibility in the first place. So Blackbeard, like many other pirates, has the dream of becoming the Pirate King. Except with Blackbeard's case, he did his research and studied a lot and came up with a plan before he just aimlessly jumped into the deep end and see where things went like most other pirates we could assume. I mean, Oda himself has said that his hobbies are gambling and researching history and that if he wasn't a pirate, he would have became an archeologist. So the dude knows his stuff, like more so than most characters in the series actually. Like he surprisingly has a lot of information on the inner workings of things in the One Piece world considering that he's like a bumbling goof a lot of the time. So the core component in his master plan is obtaining the Yami Yami no Mi. It's not because it's just a super powerful fruit and it's awesome and whatnot. There's plenty of other fruits that he could have gone after if he just wanted absolute power from a single fruit. He needed this for a very specific reason, and we'll get into why that is, of course. So we know at the age of 16, he joined the Whitebeard Pirates, and this was in an attempt at just the best way of going about finding it. Like, rather than just aimlessly going around the world himself and probably dying in the process, he's just going to join one of the best crews in the world and find it that way. And after 20 years of grinding and putting up this facade of, hey, I'm nice guy Teach, look at me, we saw that Thatch... The fourth commander of the Whitebeard Pirates eventually found the Yami Yami no Mi. Blackbeard literally backstabbed him and took the fruit for himself. So now he has the main piece of his overall plan. So let's get into the fruit itself because it's stated multiple times throughout the series to be unique and special and whatnot. I mean, it's even unique for a Logia. So of course, this allows the user to create, control, and transform into darkness at will making the user a darkness human. Remember that, very important. So aside from that, it's also said by Teach himself that darkness is gravity and it swallows everything around it and not even light itself can escape. Its power is infinite. And we saw exactly what this thing could do because he sucked up like that entire town on Bonnaroo Island. It's insane. But just an added ability that it has, which it doesn't need because it's already overpowered as it is, is that it can just straight up nullify Devil Fruit abilities if you touch them and whatnot. It's like insane that it could do this. But that's a little weird, right? On top of its original ability of the darkness and the gravity and all that stuff, it also nullifies and affects Devil Fruit abilities. Hmm. So maybe this is why Teach was so adamant about going after this fruit because during his study and whatnot, he realized that, oh, if I have this fruit, and I become a darkness human, in theory, I would be able to have two Devil Fruit abilities at once. Because it's implied that Vegapunk originally discovered that if you consume two Devil Fruits, there's going to be some kind of reaction in your blood that will make you explode. So being this darkness human and all of the properties of the fruit are just somehow superseding this original effect of consuming two fruits, and he just doesn't explode because whatever its power is infinite or the nullification of the devil fruit abilities that it has whatever it could be all of it together but just this is why blackbeard could have two fruits because he is a darkness human after consuming the yami yami no me now i know there's a whole bunch of other theories about how he's able to do this uh, there's that one thing about him being two people at once or something because of what Zoro said in Mock Town. There's also like the Cerebrus theory about how he's three people at once or he originally ate the Cerebrus fruit. And then there's like the one where he's uh, his body is asymmetrical because of what Marco said. 
I don't think that any of this is plausible, but if you think that it is, like I said in the beginning of the video, that's fine. It all could be true and I could be wrong, but there's just not enough evidence to support these claims, and I'm just kind of going off of Occam's razor here. I just really think that in Blackbeard's study and research over the years, he discovered that through the, you know, the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia that we could assume that he found out about the Amiyama and he made the, the same one that Sanji said that he read when he was talking to Absalom about, you know, his pervy dream that he had through other research and whatnot he just discovered this hypothesis that oh you know if i eat this in theory i could be able to consume two devil fruits and have both abilities simultaneously without dying because of my darkness body somehow superseding that and i think that after they throw the cloak over whitebeard and we see you know blackbeard go under it shiryu is like i hope this works because if not you know we might have to disband Based off of that little dialogue right there, it makes me think that Teach was explaining his hypothesis to his crew before this all happened, because they obviously knew what he was going to do. So maybe he was like, look, I figured out how to do it. It's not concrete. Though There's a chance it might fail, but I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So, you know, it wasn't 100% foolproof. He just had a hypothesis. But while we're on the cloak being thrown on Whitebeard, let's just go into that for a little bit. So some people think that it was done this way because he needed absolute darkness for his fruit ability to awaken or something and this allowed him to suck the devil fruit ability out of Whitebeard or something along those lines. I don't think this is the case either. I think the cloak is just a device that Oda used to remain in a mystery about all of this. Like for the character audience and for us the readers. I don't really think it served a greater purpose than just, you know, that. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's explain how he was able to get the Gura Gura no Mi ability from Whitebeard. So I think this is easier to explain. He just did it this simple devil fruit reincarnation method. Because like we know that when a devil fruit user dies, the ability is reborn into another similar fruit instead of growing on another plant. The ability just regenerates into the other fruit in a nearby vicinity. So again, I assume that Blackbeard figured this out in his years of research and saw that, oh, hey, okay, this is how you do it. All right, cool. And that he had a whole bunch of fruit in his jacket, I guess. I mean, he's a pretty big dude with a pretty big jacket. So I guess he could stuff some fruit in there and whatnot. And he just got under the cloak waited for Whitebeard to fully pass away, and then once he did, he observed the fruit that he had and waited for the Devil Fruit ability to possess it and regenerate inside of the fruit. And then he just ate the fruit, and then once it was all said and done, he took the cloak off and he had the Gura Gura no Mi. That was it. And I think we have more evidence to support that this is how he did it, and it's not like a part of his Yami Yami no Mi ability sucking the fruit ability out, because later on in Dress Rosa, we see Burgess like going after Luffy with a knife and he's like, I want your devil fruit ability, Luffy. And he has like this bag tied around his neck, which oddly has like the circular patterns of like the devil fruits typically have. So in this bag, I'm guessing he has fruit in the bag. I mean, why else would he have this bag? It's not really typical of him having it. And in this specific instance, when he's trying to kill Luffy to take his power, he has the bag on him. So I guess yep, he just Blackbeard was like, hey guys, through my research, I figured out this is how it happens. So yeah, go ahead and just try to take other devil fruits by doing this method. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the video. This might be controversial. I hope it's not. I hope this makes sense to you, or at least I hope that you see where I'm coming from. But let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like. I also have a Patreon, gives you access to a weekly Q&A video that I do. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.